I have always followed current events. While stationed in Turkey in the 1960s, other than the teletype machine at the Armed Forces radio station and shortwave radio, I received most of my news and commentary from reading Time and Newsweek magazine cover to cover. Can you imagine those two news magazines being the highlight of your week? The overseas edition we received appeared to be printed on lighter paper than the ones back home. Those magazines were like treasures to me, and I would start with the cover and read everything to the back cover. Sometimes I would read the legalese and copyright notices, too. (laughs) Those magazines, plus listening to Radio Moscow, gave you a wide perspective of what was going on in the world from a news and propaganda point of view. Most of the current music was captured from a British pirate radio station on a ship floating in the North Atlantic called Radio Caroline. We could not imagine something like the Internet back then, but we had our methods of keeping informed on news and music. Some of the guys working in the operations building probably envisioned the Internet, but everything else was operating in the now. The people at AFRTS headquarters would place all the top music on long-playing albums And by the time we received them, the music was a month behind the billboard charts. When I was in Oxnard, California, I had won a transistor shortwave radio during a grand opening of a radio station. That radio became part of my entertainment as I listened to all the propaganda coming from the four corners of the world. Ninety percent of the English broadcast were from other countries, and the foreign language stuff was coming from that huge antenna field located near Interstate 75 in Mason, Ohio, which that antenna field no longer exists. When I look back on my military service, it was absolutely the best thing that happened to me. If I could have a do-over, I would, under other circumstances, concentrate more on a formal education rather than the jack-of-all-trades university. That said, when I was 17 years old, I was placed into situations in the military that others at that age could never imagine. And believe it or not, I never volunteered for anything other than joining the United States Air Force.